Is Canva Pro worth the upgrade? Well, in this video, you're gonna find out. Now, it should be no surprise that I love Canva. I'm actually a Canva Empower Ambassador, which just means I love to empower people to do their own designing and to use Canva. And I love sharing how to use this system because I think it's amazing. Now, I am trained in Adobe Creative Suites. I still use Adobe, but I primarily use Canva for majority of my clients. And in the future, I'll be making more content to show you how I use it for my six to eight figure entrepreneur clients. But what I want to talk about in this video is why you should upgrade to Canva Pro if you have not upgraded already. Let's go over the pricing before I show you some of the really cool features that I love. This is the pricing as of April, 2024. And before I even break down this stuff, I need to let you know, if you are a teacher or you are a school or you are a nonprofit, you actually get access to Canva Pro for free. So you'll see a tab here for teachers and schools. I'm kind of surprised they don't have a tab um, for the nonprofits up here. But if you go on this page and you scroll down, you'll see a little blurb of copy here and you'll see not for profits. And when you click on that, you're going to see the page where you can apply. You have to submit your paperwork um, so they can see that you're legit and they'll approve it and get you access. So just a heads up there if you fall into one of those categories. Now, if you don't fall into those categories, here are the different options for you. This is showing the annual rate and then this is the monthly rate. Majority of people, if you are a solopreneur, you're just starting out, you're probably going to start out with the Canva free version before you upgrade to the pro. Now, if you decide that you already want to upgrade to Canva pro, I'm actually going to leave my link in the description. So you can click on that and you can get a free free trial, test it out, and then subscribe to Canva Pro. This is what I've been using for the last few years. Now, if you have a team of two or more people, you're probably going to end up doing the Canva Teams account. And then if you have a large company where you have a minimum of 100 people who would use Canva, then you would need the enterprise program and you can talk to the Canva team to see what that looks like and what the rates look like as well. If you scroll down, you can see a quick comparison chart. You could already see the big difference with this. You're getting access to way more photos, videos, graphics, audio, access to the brand kits, which is one of my absolute favorite features. You get access to their AI tools and so much more. So let's actually dive into the different pro things that I love. The first feature I want to show you is called brand kits. And I use this all the time for my clients. So what you're going to do is over here on the left-hand side, you're going to see brand and you're going to see this little crown. And anytime you see this little crown, that means it is a Canva pro only feature. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. And we're going to go ahead and click on brand kits and you can have up to a hundred different brand kits in your account. Now this is going to be good for you. If you have multiple projects you're working on with different color palettes, different fonts being used, different logos. If you are, a solopreneur and you have multiple clients that you work with on occasion, then you could create a brand kit for them. So you easily have access to that stuff. And I'm going to make a more detailed video on how to get this brand kit set up here pretty soon. But what I love about this is you can easily access everything you need while you're designing in Canva. So for example, here is a challenge I did recently. I put in the challenge logos. I put in the color palette. I set up the different fonts here. Now I could add more detail like a brand voice because Canva does have an AI feature. It has multiple AI features. So you could tell it if you wanted the brand voice to be friendly, funny, serious, angry, whatever it may be. Then photos, you could upload headshots that maybe you use the most often. Same with the graphics. If you have certain elements that you want to use over and over. And then same with the icons. If you have a certain icon set that you want this brand to have, you can also put that in here. You can also um, upload custom fonts. So if you purchase a font over on Creative Market or My Fonts and you have a license for it, you can import it in. But that is also a Canva Pro only feature. So let me show you why this is so beneficial. So we have, you know, all these different brand kits. Now, if I go back and let's say I want to start a new design, maybe I want to make a presentation. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this template. And let's say that you guys want to start off with a template over here. So we're going to go ahead and just pick out something random. So I'm going to go ahead and select this one. And um, what you're going to do is over here on the left, you're going to see brand. 
And so this is where you can access all of your different brand kits. So you just click on here and it's going to show you all the brand kits that you have and you, you can select what you want to work on. So we'll just pretend we're going to do something for this challenge. And, um, if you want to update the colors really easily with your brand colors, you could click this and boom, it automatically put it in and you can manually change it or you can shuffle again and get it to a point where you're pretty happy with it. Uh, I love this. I think it makes it so easy. And then check this out. Let's say you want to put the logo on here. Well, we have the logos right here. Just find the one you want on add, click on it and boom, it puts it in. You can just resize as needed and then put it, you know, wherever you want. And then when it comes to the typography, you could always click and change it to either your brand font. So you can see the different brand kits here again, or you can use other ones if you wanted to. But again, all this is just easily accessible right here, which is why I love the brand kits feature. One of my other favorite features is the background remover tool. So I'm going to go ahead and grab an image and let's say I want to cut the background out. So I just have her. We're going to click on the image, click on edit photo, and you're going to see Canva's magic studio right here, which is their AI powered tools. And we're going to click on the background remover. And did you see how fast that was literally within a second it removed the background? Sometimes it might take a little bit longer, but honestly, usually it just takes a few seconds to do its magic. And I just love how quick and easy this is. So now I can place her wherever I want in the canvas. And then I could put another image in the background or I could always do a color instead. So I absolutely love that feature. Another one of my favorite features is called magic grab. What we're going to do is click on this, go to edit photo and do magic grab. And what it's going to do is within seconds, it's going to grab her and fill in the background automatically. So if you wanted her to be over here instead of there, you could, or if you wanted her to be over here, you could do that as well. But as you see, it's always kind of hit or miss with how it fills in the background. So you'll have to test it with the image that you've got. But I think that is another really cool game changing feature. Now, another thing to note is over here, you can see a lot of these images have the pro symbol. If you are on the free plan, you can actually go up here to filtering and click on free and it will show you all the free images available. That way, when you put stuff in your artboard, you're not going to see the Canva watermark when you go to design or export things. So just keep that in mind. Speaking of filtering between free and pro, they just added this feature. I'm so happy about it. And whenever you have typography on here, when you go up to the different fonts, if you want to search for free fonts, you go here to show filters and click on free apply. And now it will show you all the free fonts that are available for you. If it was a pro version, you could do pro and you'll see again, like how I mentioned before, pro will always have that little crown right next to it. But I love that they recently added this filter. It's going to make things so much easier for people. Another benefit is just having more access to photos, graphics, audio, video, and even mockups. I use Canva to create all my mockups at this point. So if you go into the apps and you go here to mockups, you're going to see that they did a partnership with smart mockups. And if you go here, you can see all the different types of mockups. Majority of the time I'm doing the technology ones, typically like the smartphone, desktop, or laptops. And what you'll notice is when you start browsing to look at the mockups, you're going to see a lot of them are under the pro symbol. They do have some free ones that are pretty cool that are also available. But if you want a few more options, then going pro is the way to go. Okay. Now this one is another favorite feature of Canva pro. It is their resize tool. And let me kind of explain how I use this. So I design a lot of challenge graphics. That is my jam. And typically what I'll do is I'll design the graphic first in a horizontal format. And then once the client approves, I'll go ahead and resize it in a story format and then a square format for mobile. So this is my friend, Peter. He runs a lot of different challenges talking about copyrights and trademarking and protecting your business. He's one of the top IP lawyers in the nation. Highly recommend that you check out his stuff. So he's about to run a challenge. We came up with this very simple, very clean design, and I just want to resize this for the square and story format. So look how amazing this is. You go up here to resize and magic switch, and then you can, um, this is showing like my most recent ones, but you can browse by category if you want, or you can go up here and say what you want. So for now, I know I want to do social media, so I could click on that and it even shows you the filters. So if you specifically want to do something for Instagram, you can click on that and it will show you all the sizes. But for now, I just want to do a square format and then a story format and that's it. Now it's also going to ask you, do 
do you want to do this with all the pages in this artboard or only one specific one? So for now, I'm only going to do it with this design. Then I'm going to click on continue. It's going to take a few seconds and kind of just show me a quick little preview so I can just make sure the sizing is right. That looks good. Now you're going to notice it doesn't automatically fill the design the way that I hope it will maybe in the future. Um, but it does carry the content over into those sizing. So all we have to do is click on resize to two designs. It's going to take a few seconds and boom, there we go. We click on open designs and it opens them up in the new tabs. And then all I have to do is rearrange the layout to have it fit. But again, this saves so much time compared to having to copy and paste things over. It just does this within a few seconds. Another beneficial feature is the ability to export things as transparent PNGs. So for example, I was building out a funnel and I made this simple typographic logo and the darker version and then a white version, right? You can't see it here. Um, but if it were on a dark background in a funnel, then of course you're going to be able to see the white. So what I want to do is export it with that transparent background. So if I go over here to share download, I'm going to have these different options. I want a PNG file because that's going to give me that transparent thing. You're going see it is a pro only feature so you would click on that and then you would select the artboards that you want and then you can download them as is but really quick I want to go over these other pro features so this one is the size so if I wanted this to be a bit larger in size when it exports I could always just use the sliding scale or I could just type in what I want sometimes I will use this feature especially if I'm making a banner uh, I sometimes will make it at half the size and then export it out at double the size for Facebook group covers sometimes I'll also export it at double the size because Facebook tends to compress a lot of things so this is probably a more advanced feature but it is very beneficial another thing is compressing files so you can do this in canva but i have found tiny png to be a better option i have to give a shout out to my friend alicia she's the one who taught me about this site i ended up paying for the pro plan because i'm using it so often and it really does a great job with compressing the images um, without losing a ton of quality so i highly recommend this actually over using canva's built-in one and the last thing I want to show you is a feature that I honestly am not using at this time, but I have several social media friends who are using it and they love it. So if you go over here to apps, you're going to see content planner. And when you click on that, it's going to show you a calendar. And what you could do is actually schedule content out ahead of time and you can design your things in Canva and then schedule it out. So let's say next week on next Friday, I want to post an encouraging quote of some sort. Well, I could click on this and if I have a design already done, I can select that from up here. Or if I need to make a new design, I could always grab one of these templates or click on create design and I could do it from within the artboard. So I'll just show you for an example, I'm going to click on this. It's going to open up a new thing. So once the template opens, you can go ahead and swap out whatever you need, change things as needed. And up here, you're going to see schedule. You can click on that and you can change the date and time if you want to. You can choose the channel that you want to go to and then you can write the caption, then schedule it or save the draft. Now, at the time of making this video, there is something with Facebook where they're soon to be dropping third party apps, which would include Canva. I'm hoping that they kind of find a solution to this and fix it. So these may or may not be there in the future, but at least you have these other options that you can get connected to. So that is it for this video. Hopefully now you see the power of Canva Pro and why you should upgrade. If you would love to see more Canva content like this, then make sure to subscribe and let me know in the comments below what you would love to see. But in the meantime, I hope that you just have fun and happy creating.